as everything. Uh, for those who know what to do every week, let me apologize for not being able to come online yesterday for one of our platform called The Reality. There's a lot that is happening. Uh, I, I can tell you that we tried, but for uh, several times, we tried coming up, network, editing, and the rest were so just messy yesterday. So please, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, today is a relationship talk, and um, everybody knows when it comes to relationship talk about marriage, how, how marriage is supposed to be, that's the essence to which we talk. And as a relationship marriage counselor, um, I have a burden to see that uh, marriage, your marriages or people's marriages work. Uh, no, there are statistics that shows that uh, a lot of things is happening in marriages today. Many are suffering in their marriage, they're suffering like a felasan, suffering and smiling. Uh, let's not forget, we are still upcoming, we're still trying our best possible uh, to see that we get things right when it comes to uh, online and the rest, video editing and all that, all that, all that. we are still working in progress. So, uh, the Bible say, Hegda Mashiri, take us as we are. I'm sure uh, where we are today is, is, was not where we are, where we, what's that English now? How we are before. So, uh, I'm sure with time also it will get uh, better for us. So, today let me quickly share. Please don't forget to join me this evening. Or uh, this evening uh, in Lagos, Nigeria, according to our time. 9 p.m. for um, Ask the Council on our platform this week, Coco. Uh, there's some question I've been asked last week and I want to try to as possible uh, to answer that question. So if you are watching this video, please join us in the evening as I try to, uh, to, as, as I try to answer the question that was asked last week on our platform. It's still visual on our various platform. Um, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube, all at Obadebola Praise. So see the videos that you can watch and join us. It's best for you to even join us so you can ask some questions. And possibly as I'm asking the question, if time permits, I can read out the question so I can answer you immediately. Lesson to learn from marriage. Lesson that I have learned. Lesson that I've learned from people. Whether you like it or not, I, I, everybody knows that marriage is hard work. Marriage is not for boys. Marriage is for mature people. Marriage is not for people who are they doing mommy's boy, uh, mommy's boy, daddy's girl. No. So what are the, I want to share with you quickly things that you need to understand, the thing that, the lesson that you need to learn. Because marriage, you know, there's a lot of pictures that have been painted, painted over the years when it comes to marriage. And I'm not debunking those things. But how you can manage, hope you know love is not enough to sustain a marriage. As a matter of fact, the love you have for your spouse at the beginning of the uh, dating process will fade out. You no, know, it's not the devil that is doing this. It's a normal phenomenon. It's a normal scientific way of uh, uh, those happenings. To so understand, there are three basic importance when it comes to marriage. Uh, I always tell uh, couples, commitment, commitment to wanting to stay together is paramount. That regardless of what is happening, regardless of what has happened, regardless of what will happen, you are committed to the cause, you are committed to staying with your partner. Now, I know there are physical abuse, I know there are verbal abuse, but I'm speaking to children of God. You know, for example, this morning, I and my wife we are going to work this morning and we are making you know, instances concerning Christianity and character. And I conclude that say, if you are a child of God and your character is different from your confession, then I, I can't agree with you. So basically when it comes to marriage, marriage is also instituted by God and every principle needs to be followed. And the manner for marriage is still Bible. So understand that you need to be committed to the cause. You need to be committed to the marriage. Number two, what are the you know, I think, what are, you know, lesson, le lesson, lesson you need to learn when it comes to marriage? But before I need to, before I share those those ones, 
You need to understand that basic important things that you need to understand when it comes to marriage. One is commit, commitment. That regardless of what is happening, whether you have children, you don't have children, whether you know the husband have or the husband have, or whether money is entering, money is not entering, they give equal notice, you know, things are not working, they need to both work. You are committed to the marriage that this marriage must work. And in fact, it is dependent on solely on the person that instituted the marriage. Love also is important. You know, all of us started loving our partner from the beginning. The love was wow. But whether you like it or not, as time goes down, the love will go down and down and down. The way most couples start out their relationship being in love, sustaining their feeling for each other, takes three things. So when it comes to love, whether you like it or not, love will come down. But you can sustain it by effort, you can sustain it by sacrifice, you can sustain it by generosity. Sometimes when I tell people that I wash my wife's clothes, say, how can you be a man? I don't understand. I run my own company, I run an NGO. So I'm at liberty to be around. The children are at liberty to be around. It's, by, it's our job, but I am around, I'm available. What was the big deal of washing my clothes or even washing our own clothes? So when it comes to love, sustaining love, which is not able to sustain the marriage, it can at the beginning, but it will get a particular point that love, is, love won't be enough to help in the marriage. So understand that efforts, making sacrifices, being generous, will help to you know, sustain the love. That being said, I'll quickly run through some lessons that you need. You, you cannot afford uh, when it comes to marriage. Uh, sometimes I tell people I'm a comedian. And being a comedian, I learned it the hard way. Because I have first experience must have experience when it comes to marriage. So I had to infuse co comedy into my life. I said, learn it. So I'm sure the, the way I'm talking to you, is this guy serious? No, I'm serious. I have to learn it. Why do I have to learn it? I have to you know, laugh a lot. So when it comes to one of the lessons that you need to learn when it comes to marriage, laugh a lot. You no, know, I'm sure you have heard that saying before. Laughter is the best medicine. Learn to laugh, not laugh with scorn. Laugh at situation when it comes to your spouse. You guys learn to laugh together. And in laughing together, you know, try to, to, to create atmosphere to go laugh. I watch, I still watch cartoon till tomorrow. I still watch comedy tomorrow. Sometimes, sometimes, even, I don't, I, I, I watch, I you know, practically download some cartoons, practically download some comedy so that we can laugh and we watch it together, sometimes even with the children. So laughter, one of the lessons I need to learn when it comes to marriage, not an important lesson, learn to laugh. Number two, there are three powerful words that many couples today are joking with. I am sorry. Many husbands don't know how to apologize. Many wives don't know how to apologize to their, to their spouse. And it's wrong. I am sorry. Say I am sorry, forgive and forget. Be the first and the bravest to say, I am sorry. One of the lessons that you need to learn when it comes to marriage. If you say you are a child of God and you don't know how to say, I'm sorry, something is wrong about your profession. Something is wrong about who you say you are serving. Number three, learn to be flexible. If God is not flexible towards us, do you think we will be where we are today? My grace is sufficient. Why? The Bible puts it that way. That regardless of what you are going through, regardless of what you are doing, the grace covers you. Even the Bible says, are we supposed to continue in sin so that grace may abound? So understand being flexible, being liberal. Okay, this person is like this. You know, one of my one of my mentors, my mother in the Lord, now in US, um, Reverend Mrs. Uh, Ngozi Okorongpo. You know, she said, learn to make excuses for people. So in the context of marriage, be flexible, learn to make excuses on behalf of your, of your spouse. These are the lessons I've learned. Being flexible. Number one, two, three, four, five. Number five, talk, learn to talk and listen. Talk and listen. Talk and listen. Not talk, 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 talk. 
I'll not do like Gandhi. So be when he talks Finnish now, I'll talk about my mouth. Look, learn to talk and listen. Number six, learn to work as a team. A must be three says, and to work together unless they be agreed. If they don't do unity in the home, your husband and wife. I'm not talking about unity by, oh, we are not No, you know that certain thing is not working between two of you. So they learn to work as a team, regardless of what is happening. And uh, number seven, I am a crazy, and I told you from the beginning, when it comes to laughter, I have to learn it. One of the things I also have to learn when it comes to laughter, after is adventure. I do crazy things. And in doing crazy things, you are you know, creating adventure. You know, I tell you sometimes, you don't have to make love in, on the, in the bedroom. You don't have to go to the same entry. You don't have to wear the same dress every anniversary. You don't have to give the same gifts. Sometimes I even have to pound yam for my wife. Just to create something new. So that also make the wow. So these things, these seven things are important to make, to keep you know, several important lessons that are important to make you know, your marriage active. To make your marriage active. Number, number eight, which is one of the important ones. Your marriage is instituted by God. So focus on God. Whatever is happening in your marriage, go to the person that instituted the marriage. I am a counselor, marriage counselor. Before you come to me with your issues, first of all, go on your knees. Learn to go on your knees. Learn to go to God. Because it's the one that created it. Sometimes, if care is not taken, the counselor can even you know, add salt to injury. And they make a mess of your whole thing. But the person that, you know, say a man will leave his household and then go and join to the wife, he's still God. Go to him, he knows. So these things are important. And these are the marriage blessings that you need to learn. So until next week, please don't forget, we have various platform. Join me this evening on our platform, the Spirit Coco, as we continue the series episode on Ask the Counselor. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Don't forget also, we have a book uh, and coming of this Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, for Lashita, Abanoje, Wazubia, Bosco, uh, Lagos, Alimosho. Uh, if you are living on that, around Alimosho, please come and join us on that program. We are pouring street party praise uh, with the same wonders of worship. I'm sure God is about to you know, bombard us with His blessing as we praise Him. And also, I, I keep reminding people. If you have ever joined our program, the are before even November, we know it's purely praise. Not, we're not doing it so for about two hours, 5 to 7 p.m., we're going to praise God on the streets. We're going to carry from the church down to the streets. Uh, so please do come and join us, and I'm sure you'll not regret it. And for those who want to support us, I'm sure you see on our screen our details to the web campaign. And be a covenant partner of the Imagine Cast Ministry. There's a lot that we do as on social media. There's a lot that we do for people. That there's a lot that God has commanded us to do. And we need money and we need finance for this. So be a covenant partner of us and God bless you in Jesus' name. And God has really God has told you to be. Please don't hesitate. We need it urgently. Now it's not, I'm not talking about personal use. I'm talking even for the ministry. We have personal uh, personal needs. But even for the ministry, we need your response. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom.
are good, you are kind, you are more than these, not for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Ale Shelewi, the greatness is all I ask. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. Cause you have a track record of keeping your word. And you're not about to stop doing it now. All over. Then you gave us the right to your holy name. 